Okay, everyone. Hey, uh, thank you for uh, showing up for another Linux tutorial at my uh, channel. Um, we're going to talk today about uh, this emergency mode error that keeps uh, coming up when there's like a power outage or what have you on any of your Linux uh, distros that you may use. I think it's all the same. I'm currently using Fedora 28, and um, but when I went across the internet, I noticed that uh, people are experiencing error messages even with Ubuntu and Lubuntu and any other form of uh, Linux distro. But I corrected the error and I noticed too that I, I, I didn't feel like I was getting a lot of good uh, information on how to repair it. So I kind of had to do a lot of digging and then experimenting and finally really didn't take me too long to figure it out. And it's something that you can fix in five minutes and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I did was I just took a text editor and I kind of scratched out um, the emergency mode, as you can see in number one. So we'll go ahead and start there. So number one, it's you, you're going to see you're entering emergency mode, exit shell to continue. So if you're getting that error, what that means is, obviously, uh, in my situation, um, I, we had a power outage. So it messed up the uh, I, something in the uh, master boot record uh, It got corrupted. So it's not a big deal. It just needs to be fixed. It's, it's a lot like, uh, kind of like safe mode, I guess, in a way, similar to maybe on Windows. Um, but if you notice below that number one, you get that colon, and then you get the uh, forward slash and the number sign. All right, so what do you do now? All right, so the first thing that you want to do is this. Notice up here at the top, it says exit shell to continue. So really what you do is you type an exit. And when you type an exit, uh, you're going to get a, a, another error message. And what you're going to see is somewhere in that error message, you're going to see this thing called system CTL. Okay. Well, what you want to do, you don't need to type an exit to get that. Just do this. Type in system CTL and then hit enter. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to see a bunch of stuff having to do with your computer system. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down with the arrow keys until you find the error, whatever it may be. Now, in my case, uh, in in my particular case, it was system fsck root dot service, and then over to the right, it was this is where the error uh, existed: development or dev mapper fedora dash root. So that's where the error that's where the error was. So what you're going to do at this point is you're going to hold down Control Alt Delete after you do this. Obviously, it's going to bring you back to emergency mode. And then you're, what you're going to do is want to type in this command. So whatever your error message is, you're going to want to substitute what I'm showing you here with your own error message, whatever that may be. If it gives you a, um, if it shows you where the error is located, and this is where it's located right here. Okay, in my in my particular uh, case. So now that we're back in emergency mode, what I did was I typed in the function uh, fsck. Now all that means really in Linux language is fix. That's really all that is. So what I'm instructing this to do is to fix the error that's located within here. Now what's going to happen is when I typed in enter, you're basically doing this in manual mode. So in manual mode, you're going to go through some steps. You're going to answer questions. You're going to hit enter and you're going to see some stuff come up. And then um, you're going to want to hit like follow. The, if it asks you questions, typically it's going to ask you, do you want to do this? And it's going to come up with a Y, meaning yes. You're, obviously you're going to want to keep hitting yes. All right, so just keep hitting yes until it keeps going and going. It might take a while, and just be patient with it, and then eventually you're going to fix the problem. So just give it time, and this is all you need to do, and you should be able to fix your problem at least within five minutes. Now, if you would do me a favor, please leave a comment. Let me know that you fixed it. Let me know that this information did help you. And also, go ahead and when you leave a comment, show everybody else how you fixed your problem. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.